the farmer in this paddock and in a broader context, the farmers, I think, in a very large area of cropping soils in Australia, suffering from the lack of technology which can be used practically to manage their soils. I guess the fact is that most Australian soils are challenged and uh, there's, uh, there's a yield gap and a large majority of Australian soils are not yielding to the rainfall that's provided and the main reason for that is due to soil constraints. Today we are in Lockhart, um, it's about an hour um, out of Wagga Wagga and we are in a farmer's paddock. So we are um, in a paddock that basically has multiple soil constraints and we are going to use innovative solutions to address some of these challenging uh, pressure on farming systems in dryland grains production. So typically, you know, at this particular site, uh, this barley crop has got a very constrained root system. Uh, it might only access soil water to 10 or 20 centimetres and that significantly uh, lowers productivity and the potential for biomass production. We are looking at opportunities that are hidden below the surface. So the topsoil is really um, easy to manage, but there are a lot of multiple soil constraints below the surface. Precision placement of am amendments where the problem is is really important and it has just been recently that we developed machinery capable of deploying those amendments at the zone of interest. We're at the stage now of, of bringing it to the field and we can see here the, uh, the deep ripper is starting to put the amendments to 30 to 40 centimetres in the soil profile. We're looking to significantly improve um, the soil conditions to allow root penetration to depth, to enable better water access and ultimately to improve yield and sustainability of the system. Uh, so as part of site selection and evaluating soil landscapes, uh, there's, what we're doing here today is using an electromagnetic induction sensor to measure the soil conductivity. If we use our conductivity survey before we do the sampling, we can actually identify the gross changes or differences in soil um, characteristics across the paddock and then we can target where it is we go to, uh, to take our samples. Research through Soil CRC enabled us to um, have a multidisciplinary approach to tackling some of the most challenging issues affecting crop production in Australia. Enhanced collaboration through working with Soil CRC was the aspect that made me very excited. We were able to work with industry and grower groups and scientists from different disciplines to come up with that innovative solution that is required to tackle this complex issue. This uh, research and the long-term benefit of that research means that the farmer will be provided with a practical solution which is economically viable, hopefully, and that uh, will enable them to address some of the challenging issues affecting their productivity. If we ameliorate these constraints and allow these root systems to penetrate deeper into the soil without these toxicities, without these physical barriers, you know, what is the yield potential at these sites? And I think if we can demonstrate this in the field um, with the assistance then of the farmer and the grower groups and through the Soil CRC, I think we'll have best opportunity to get these new practices adopted and, uh, and utilised across Australia.